Oh man! I got a spot! What? That gives me an idea. Coital pimple popping fans! If you were like me, you're going to absolutely love this tutorial. However, if you are squeamish, look away now. Today's video, we're going to make edible sweets that you can actually pop and all the gunge just splurges out of it and then you can actually eat it as well and it actually tastes nice like it's something you would actually want to eat if you can get over the visual look of it <laughs> I woke up this morning with this bad boy growing out my face so I thought rather than sit there and cry let's just get on and have some playtime to make our delectable pimple popping sweets we're just going to go through a couple of things that you're going to need first. So you've got your basic equipment like your jug, um, a scoop with a pouring spout on. Um, you use a spoon or a syringe is actually really helpful if you've got one. And one of these. Ta da It's a flexible mould. Um, it's actually the eyeball mould from the old pipingbag.co.uk. Now, I like this one because it's the half spherical mould inside, so when you pop your sweets out, they're actually dome-shaped, like a pimple. So this is great for this. Now, I know she's released a newer version of this, um, but it's quite similar to this one anyway. So the link to where to buy one of these is in the description above or below. Now, you don't just have to stop at pimple sweets with these. We can take it a step further. If you've got a gummy bear mould or if you've got um, a Lego mould, we can make something really gory. I mean, you could put your jelly um, and then put like jam inside. So when you squish it, it looks like all its guts are coming out. <laughs> Let's just go for our list of ingredients. One sachet of sugar-free powdered jelly. One tablespoon of gelatine. This is bovine gelatine. And the goo that comes out in the middle, it's lemon curd. Oh, it's so nice when it cuts through the flavor of the strawberry or the raspberry. In the jelly, it's so, so nice. So we've got 125 ml or half a cup of boiling water. It goes into the jug. We're going to pour our jelly, just like that, and our tablespoon of gelatine. And it goes. Take our spoon. I'm going to give it a really good stir. Once you've got rid of all your lumps and bumps, just leave the mixture aside just to cool down slightly because it works better when the mixture's slightly cooler. Okay, here's the mould. I'll put it in the fridge for about five minutes just to cool down. Now, the longer you leave your uh, jelly mix, you'll notice it's getting quite thick. Now, we've put the mould in the fridge because as soon as you pour the jelly in there, it will set pretty much straight away. Now you need this because when you pipe in your lemon curd into the centre, if it's still warm, the lemon curd will sink to the bottom and you won't get that poppable spot effect. So this is already going quite like jelly. Take your spoon or your pourer, whichever what your syringe, whichever you want you want to use. Okay, start filling it up. Like so. We'll pour another one in. We're making a lot mess here, aren't I? There we go, we'll just do them for now. So take your lemon curd and then you're going to pipe into the centre. Like so. See, it's already trying to come out now because it's set straight away. You just want to do it so it's enough in there. If it starts coming out the top, take a little bit more jelly and cover the top up like this. That just seals in the lemon curd. Gelatine is actually starting to set already. It's getting harder and harder to work with. So you don't want it too hot and you don't want it too cold. And we're just going to pop that in the fridge for about 10 minutes. These have been in the fridge now for a good 10 minutes and they're already quite solid, which is what you want. Now we're just going to pop them out. Just want to gently pull the edges 
the mould away from the sweet. Careful not to pop it before you even got it out. And just use the edge. Of a knife or a spoon or something just to help pop it out. That's why we use a flexible mould. So they're easy to pull out. So as you can see, here is a sweet. So let's see if it pops. Are you ready? Give it a good squeeze and... Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, let's go for another one. Oh, I love this. Give it another one and... Oh, <laughs> that is absolutely rank. It's disgusting. Well, it's so much fun. So not only are these spots Popable and squeezy. Mm. They're actually really tasty. <laughs> now you're either laughing at the screen or puking into a bucket somewhere. Sorry, not sorry. I'm Hayley from Gadget Cakes, and that was my tutorial on how to make edible pimple popping sweets. Mm. Enjoy!